traders I think this video will be an eye-opener I'm gonna show you what I consider to be one of if not the best scalping day trading uh, strategy available I'll show you how this works okay we set alerts for this alert to fire on a one hour time frame here's where it gets really interesting let's just mark this up as our point of interest here we're going to open a second chart this chart above here is a three minute chart and we're going to be using our pin bar pivots indicator on this one so let's just go back to down here it's wednesday it's the first of november all right so we'll click up here three minute chart and uh, we'll go back in time first of november find our point of interest here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit replay and i'm going to take it right at that point in time okay this is a three minute chart above and down below here just for reference we've got the one hour and we're going to be looking for opportunities obviously in this section and it's after this cloud break two we've got two cloud we've got break one this is break one and break two is our break in market structure the 1h one hour time frame just gives us this first reference point here and then of course we trade the three minutes so let's now open up the three minute full screen and we'll uh, we'll run with this what has to align on this time frame is the same break that's definitely going to be here because this is faster this time frames faster than the one hour so the breakout will have occurred prior to the uh, point of interest on the 1h these two here must align so we want this is our four hour slash day 1d time frame confluence and these are just our higher time frame multi time frames what we do at this point then is we open up our alerts over here and we set an alert on the pin bar pivots because we want every one of these pullbacks on the three minute so this is going to tell you whenever you see a um, higher high or a lower high these pivot points okay so let's just run this and i'll show you uh, how this plays out and our entry criteria first bar paints and we're just waiting now for uh, a another signal now hold it here yeah see this white candle see how this is traded into the base of the cloud here we're going to call that our entry point now you could have set up a pending cell and the other way to do this is to grab a fibonacci just look for the previous see this little balance area in here these equal highs we've got a bit of a range through here we can pull a fibonacci from here and the 50 percent fib would be my bottom line but this is pulled right back into this yellow zone 50 through to the 786 or a pull back into the cloud that's a valid entry point so you know you, you'd set up a pending cell we're right at that point stop loss just in the cloud that's fine and we'll go for it, uh, maybe a two to one risk reward something like that we're going to sell here and so we've got this breakout of the cloud now you can see how our trend lines are, are, are trending and we'll stick with the, the plan here we'll just play this now and see how it unfolds okay we've got a nice red candle and, and i like these long thin candles it's got a fair bit of momentum behind it now we're just looking for the next low to form okay see see here we've got this yellow line previous daily low keep an eye on that and what we're going to be looking for is an opportunity we could pull a fib at this point and have a look at it what does it look like we're looking for pull back into the 61.8 fib see this white line that's running through here this is the mean okay we're looking at this trend on a, on a three minute chart so you can set up a pending cell get it ready so we're just going to add to our position pull back into the mean here would be okay but let's just see how this plays out the pin bar pivots indicator is repainting in other words if it paints another lower pin bar it will hunt for that and uh, that's fine because we're just waiting for this base to form see how it repainted that's okay see the pullback here this is going to be our entry point 
And what's going to happen is whenever this pin bar hits a spot, the alert is going to go off. You notice that it, it picked up this low here, I think it was. The alert will fire in the alerts log and then we just wait for it to complete. In other words, we see a strong candle like this. We've got this base around this low. We've got a potential entry here. Pull back into our Fibonacci. See the 50? I'm okay with that. So now we have a second position running and we can keep this going until we see a, a break in the uh, in the trend here, the break of structure. So let's just play it and see see how it unfolds. Okay, that was quite a nice entry point. So now it's retesting this previous daily low. You can see the yellow line. We just stay in this until we see a break of structure, basically. Okay, another move down. Our target is a dynamic target, if you like. You can just keep following it until we see this break of structure. Worst case scenario, we close it at the two to one risk reward. Okay, see this green dot under here? You wanna take notice of these. So we've got two green dots. This one gave us the retrace. This one here is potentially going to give us another retrace. Now look at this chart. What have we got? See the white line? That's the trajectory. See these, the cloud, the base of the cloud here? This is where you want to set up a pending cell. Now what's going to happen is the alert will fire now that this has painted a, 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 a pin bar. You'll see the alerts in the alerts log. So, you, you know, you really won't miss any opportunities. They will show up in here. I've deleted all my alerts because I'm going to uh, come back and redo. I want that one hour breakout more than anything because it's going to give us these opportunities. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, I'm going to invite you to jump on board. Just head over to the website, tradingwithanthony.com. And I'm making this very affordable. I think there's a need for this in the world. I don't want to give it away for free, but as I mentioned in my video, shout me lunch once a month and you've got access. Now let's just have a look here. See this the 50% Fib level? It's right on our the base of our cloud. So I'm going to set up another pending cell in here. Now I'm quite happy to go with that. Something like that. Let's just see how it unfolds. So we're looking at the cloud and I'm looking at this white line and I'm looking at the Fib retrace. I'll tell you what we might do and it won't hurt to actually take money off the table and we'll just start again with with this see see how we go you know don't be greedy just keep taking money out so let's just close those two see we've made three hundred dollars already just sitting in front of the chart here and then we're gonna see if we get a um, an opportunity here let's just wait there's a bit of a space between the cloud and the uh, that white line that you see running at the mean. But yeah, we just want the pullback. Hang on, let's just hold it there. What have we got? Just grab the fib. High to low. Yeah, I want the pullback into the 50. Let's just see if we get that. We're looking at these swings. This previous swing are high down to swing low. Stop it right here. All right, we've got this white bar. It's pulled back into the cloud. It hasn't quite touched the 50. I would prefer more of a discount, but you can have a look left and see what we've got here. See this this thin candle here. If we pick up the candle left and the candle right, we've got this imbalance. I really want it to come back into this imbalance. All right, so I'm really going to go for the discount. That can come in now above this daily low. Let's just see if we get the pull back up into here, maybe slightly under. You know what? It's pretty close. Let's sell it. Aha, see that? This is the touch now in this zone so it could actually pull up a little bit high but that's fine we're, we're in and we've got a stop loss resting above this previous daily uh, range low here now here's the thing too with this with risk management if you go into these trades open these trades keep the same position size always i'll just run it keep the same position size it's a percentage of your account look at that entry isn't that precise Keep the same lot size, Let's uh, position size. Let's assume that whatever you're going in at, say it's 0.5% of your account, and that equates to $100. Did we close three trades? I don't know. But let's just say that each one of these is worth $100 on your account today. And then you're consistent with your, with your risk. So if you win eight and you lose two, it's so easy to keep tabs. There's 
800 and a 200 loss. Now, if you do that, you're managing your risk really well. Let's see how we go with this. Uh, because what we want to do with this is make sure that this is trending. We're staying with the, this trend. While this is trading under the cloud, just run this and you know enjoy the ride. Okay, we've got a couple of white candles coming in here. It's telling me that we could be in for a bit of a shift. Let's just see. Up, oh, no. Okay, nice. Okay, see this green dot? I'm going to exit on the green dot. Let's just take your money and run here. We'll close that one. Take our money out. So now we're 380, $386 up. Let's just play this and see how it uh, unfolds. Getting a bit of a pullback here. Okay, and again, have a look at this last leg price swing. Grab our Fibonacci, high to low. And we're looking for, eh, that could have been another entry point here. It's not ideal. I prefer it to uh, come back in closer to this red yellow zone and the cloud so let's just wait and see if that happens pull back into the mean I, I prefer a bit more of a discount I want it up near my fib zone otherwise you know we can just let it go oh look at this okay here's an entry so we would have got to fill up in here with a uh, with a pending you know a limit sell in any case we'll just uh, hit sell hold it here all right, let's just call that stop loss hit. Now see how these, let me just close that. See how we're starting to um, shift gears here. We've got to break above this white, uh, our white dotted line and we've got these green, okay, see? See how we've got this um, green triangle? See how the, how the uh, these bars are colored? So we could have bailed on, on that green bar. We missed it, that's fine. I mean, the idea really is you run it while it's trending and you know you might lose the last one but we're up you know 325 dollars and it depends on your position size you can test this on a demo account until you're a hundred percent with this back test it thoroughly you know once you're a hundred percent confident i'm not going to say trade a live account i'll stick to the demo account because i have to do that you'll test it out then with 0.1 percent of your account position size or if you like just 0.01 lots across the board for each trade to start with and if you're consistently profitable then you know you bump it up to 0.2 percent of your account here's where it gets really interesting as you see this continually working in your favor 0.4 0.7 you know what i'm saying and eventually 1% or something like that. So each trade you're going in with 1%, that could be worth $500 on, on an account. Who knows? Five, ten, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 and you lose one, no problem. There's a 1000 So um, I think you get what I'm saying here. Back test, try it out, demo uh, account. But you've got to follow the rules. And it's going to be really, really simple. We use two charts. Just go back out of here. We're looking for the, the cloud break on the one hour chart. Guys, grab the indicators. They're available from this afternoon onwards, this new pin bar pivots that we've been working on. You can have access to that today. Set up the alert on this cloud break two on the one hour chart. When that breaks, we then come in and set up the alerts on the pin bar pivots on a three minute chart. And we just sit back and enjoy the ride. Other thing we need to see is this is painting a, uh, if it's bearish, a red bar. And these guys down here, the multi-time frame, the higher time frame are red. And then it's all systems go. Okay, guys, I'd love to hear your comments. Help me build the channel with a thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you know anybody who you think might benefit from this, let them know. Subscribe to the channel. Jump on board and enjoy the journey with us. We've got a fantastic VIP membership going. Daily trade signals. Everything. So with that, hope you have a great day. Safe trading as always. And we'll see you in the next one.